welcome back to my channel. We will be playing Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town, and we're currently waiting for it to load. This is my first time ever playing this game, and I love the cute little icons at the bottom. The rooster and the chick. Awesome. This is my first time ever using a capture card and doing all this, so forgive me if things get messed up. I'm gonna try my best. Oh, for instance, that game volume is very loud. We're gonna play online. That's fine. Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive. A long time ago, my grandfather and his friends blazed a trail and established a new settlement. They called it Olive Town. That works pretty. When I was a kid, I loved listening to stories of my grandfather's pioneering days more than anything. Since then, it's been my dream to live in Olive Town, just like he did. my appearance. Oh, okay. Let's see. See? It's funny because for the most part just the eyebrows and eyes change. And to me, the confident looks more like a mischievous. What's up with this? Alright, let's see. Sly is so cute. Let me go back. Aww. So cute. Mysterious. It doesn't look very mysterious. It's okay. Stubborn. Okay. I think I'm gonna do Frontier. Frontier is cute. Alright. Let me go ahead. I'm trying to make this look like me. I'm trying my best. This is giving me some Dragon Ball Z vibes, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, I like this one. I think I might do this one. Let me look and see what the other ones are real quick. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of options. I don't know. I think I'm going to stick with the braid one. Dark red color. 
like an almost natural, but I think I'm gonna just do this one. I like this one. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one. Voice. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, okay. I think I'm gonna do cute. I'm sure I can get new clothes as the game goes on. Oh, I'm adorable. <laughs> Funny story, in real life I also wear blue eyeliner, which is why I picked that face. Oh, I get a motorcycle. Oh, ooh, what colors are there? I'm gonna stick with blue. My favorite girl color in real life is turquoise. <laughs> so blue it is. Blue or green? I like green either one. Oh, here I go. Oh yeah, I look super happy, super thrilled on my little moped. I know it's a <laughs> So animals, love them, love cute animals. Super excited. This this hyped me up a little bit. You know, personally I don't think driving on a motorcycle in the woods at night is a good idea. <laughs> but here I am doing it anyways. Oh yeah, camping in the woods. Adorable. of town. <laughs> Here we go. One moment, please. Uh, my motorcycle, my moped broke down. Oh! Who are you? And why did you just slide on in here? Victor. And who might you be? Did you come all the way here on that motorcycle? I don't trust him. You see how he just slid over? He didn't he didn't even walk. He didn't walk. He slid. Okay. Yes, I did. Well, that must have been an arduous journey. Your poor motorcycle tells a story all on its own. Ah, uh, you needn't worry about it. I can have the repairs arranged. Yes, because I'm going to trust a stranger in the middle of nowhere. I'll be taking it to a man named Clemens, who runs our tool shop. You can pick it up later once he's all done with it. Er, by the way, might I have your name? Okay, I'm going to make life easy. Hmm. So your name's Panda, is it? That sounds so familiar. Where have I heard that name before? Oh, have you heard before? Oh, my goodness, your birthday. It's a... Uh, is it what I think it is? Spring? Summer? Uh, okay, so they do seasons. They don't do months. Okay, so I'll just do kind of my normal summer 20. Yes. That works. Yes, I remember now. Summer 20. Come to think of it, his grandchild would be 20 by now. Ah, oh, then that would make you his granddaughter. Yeah. You're a girl, you cannot change this later. Sure, yeah. <laughs> yes, of course, my apologies. I don't know how I could have forgotten when you're standing right in front of me. 
goodness gracious, to think my dear old friend's granddaughter would find her way to Olive Town. Come on then, I'd be happy to show you to your grandfather's old farm. Okay. I don't know how I feel about Victor so far, guy. He seemed nice, but he just happened to be... Is something the matter? Actually, let me guess. By the look on your face, you'd like to ask me, are you quite sure this is my grandfather's farm, sir? And to that, I would say it is. When your grandfather lived here, this farm was lush and beautiful place. Emphasis on the was, I'm afraid. Wow, so rude. <laughs> Now, what was the name of this farm again? It's on the tip of my tongue. Your grandfather must have told you the name of the farm. Surely, what was it again? Crap. Okay, I suck at naming things. Uh, let's just do... Some more fun. Sound good? Yeah, let's do that. Your farm's name is AS Farm Farm. Oh, I don't. <laughs> ASM Farm. ASMR Farm Farm. That works. We'll just go with it, guys. Oops, I could have probably changed it, but I clicked A way too fast. Interested in taking over the farm? Well, I can't say I'm very well versed on the subject, but I can at least teach you the basics to start you off. ASMR farm farm. That's gonna kill me. Here you are. I'll pass these along to you. These are tools for developing the farm. As I'm sure you'll wear well, this farm has seen better days, but those tools will help be the key, will be the key to changing all that. Using tools and items. Okay, that's not too hard. Items you find will be placed in your bag. Press X to open your notebook and view your inventory. Cool, cool. Be aware of trees and stones while clearing things out. You'll need special tools to deal with those. Using an axe while standing in front of a tree will allow you to chop it down. Stones can be broken with hammers and sickles can be can cut wild grasses. Utilize your tools to clear the land. Yeah, this sounds like some games that I know. I realize this is a lot to take in, and it might be baffling at first. Take things at your own pace, and you will gradually grow accustomed to it. And, ah, uh, and do use the sleeping bag in your tent. If you find yourself exhausted from work, a good night's rest will restore your energy. Alright. You're welcome to take some notes on all of this for future reference. If you do, you can view them from the notebook in your tent at any time. Cool beans. Following along so far, if you're unsure about anything, I can explain it to you once more if you prefer. Oh, I'm good, thank you. Excellent, glad to hear it. I have some other things I should explain to you as well, but I'd rather not overwhelm you. Let's wrap it up here for today. Yes, please. First, I'd like to tell you to try out everything you've learned. I'll be back tomorrow to teach you how to grow crops. So sweet. Oh, and if there's anything about Olive Town you'd like to know, I'm the man to ask. I'm its mayor, after all. Oh, of course you are, Victor. As a quick word of Meryl, Meryl advice, I would suggest you get acquainted with our residents. Leaving a good first impression, impression is paramount, I always say. Now then, I'll be on my way. Until tomorrow. Oh boy. Here we go. Tool bag. Okay. Cool. Okay. 
Oh, you can listen to weather forecasts on the radio. It's important for farmers to know what the weather will be. You'll be able to listen to forecasts the next day and beyond. So just like Stardew Valley. All right, everyone, you know what time it is. We're coming at you with the weather report. We're looking at clear, sunny skies for spring one. It will be perfect weather for sitting outside at your favorite restaurant. Spring two will be sunny. Hooray! You know, I've heard alpacas absolutely love basking in the sun. <laughs> Cute. Spring three will be sunny. Enjoy the weather. On nice days, I'll go outside with dessert and have a little picnic, but I usually eat too much. Thanks for tuning in to our report. See you tomorrow. Yeah, so I know that Stardew Valley has the weather report. And I know that Animal Crossing has a kind of hint. This is like a mix between Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley. Yeah, I'll be fine. Oh, I got a calendar. Let me try to figure out life here for a minute. Alright, you said I was gonna have tools, but where are they? I know he said. I mean, maybe I need to run around a little. Let me go outside and see what happens, maybe. I didn't know. Okay. Yeah, let's try going outside. I think I remember him saying something about notes, but I'd rather look at this. Okay. Your fields. When you sow, sow seeds in your fields, you'll be able to grow crops. Try planting some seeds after Mayor Victor's, Mayor Victor's taught you a little more about raising crops. Oh, cool. These look like carrots. Can I? Okay. I'll make them available for purchase at all town shops. Good to know. What's this? Don't bother me. He handed me the tools, didn't he? why I need to pay attention to those tutorials is I've a chicken. Come here, come here. Tame. You have no place to house the animal. Try again after the repair, but oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> I, want, I want the chicken. I guess I need to figure out about tools first. I don't have them in my bag. I feel like I'm missing something. I don't know what it is, and I feel like whoever's gonna be watching this video later is gonna think I'm stupid. But it's okay, I'll figure it out. I can start to eat onion apparently. I'm gonna go to town and see what's around there. Maybe there's a tool shop. All cute. Alright, let's see. Oh, hello. Cindy. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Cindy, and you are? Oh, you're a panda? So you're the one who's going to be living on the farm. May I come by your place sometime? Sure. The Hoof House Animal Shop. Oh, I can buy animals. 
else. I'm not going to do that right now because I only have 3,000 gold. And who knows? I may need to buy myself food. I always found myself starving in Stardew Valley, so... Hello, who are you? Hello. Crawl. Hello, we haven't met before, have we? Oh, so your name is Panda? I'm Raw. It's a pleasure to meet you. Appreciate it. And you are... Emilio. You come here to sightsee? I can guide you around if you want. Oh, you're the one who came on the motorcycle. Panda, right? Emilio. You go forgetting it now, okay? Oh, he's a fort. Who are you? Oh, come here. I want to talk to you. There are so many gorgeous flowers. As you get used to farm work, you'll find yourself leveling up various skills along the way. Like these skills will help you gain special traits like new crafts. Oh, so I can maybe grow, grow flowers later. That's cool. I want some flowers. You look scary. Uh. George. Hey, I haven't seen you around before. Ah, oh, your name's Panda, is it? I'm George, Captain of the Fairy. Good to meet you, lass. Okay. I'll talk to you next. Hey! If you're looking for the low down on all the town, then you've come to the right gal. Wait, you're Panda? Your Vincent told me about you. I'm Laura, the town's tour guide. No question is a dumb question as far as I'm concerned. So fire away if there's anything you'd like to know. Please tell me where the tool bag is. <laughs> oh, let's not go on there right now. This looks like a restaurant. Hi, Vincent. What can we do to get more tourists to come? I don't know. Ooh, I don't want to talk to you. That's Raw, right? Oh yeah, it is. Raw. This looks like a place for tools. Workers base tool shop. Are they gonna give me tools? Mission bag expansion here. Yeah, I'm gonna want that eventually. Let me talk to you. Hey. Clemens. Hey, I'm Clemens. I'm the guy behind all the bits and bobs at the tool shop, and you are? Ah, so you're a panda. Good to meet you. Hey. hey, welcome. Having any trouble with your tools? Uh, so I can upgrade tools. Does this mean I have the tools? stupid right now because I just found it. <laughs> wow, let me put all these in my inventory real quick. <sighs> let me go to my farm. Let me use these on my farm. I feel so dumb. I'm sorry, but if you saw that in the comp, please, in the comments, please tell me that you saw that before I did. And feel free to tell me how dumb I am because that was... <laughs> I just need to read, apparently, because I wasn't looking. I think my excitement got the better, best of me. Let's go chop some trees. Chop. 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 Can I get rid of that one? We'll say sickle. It is harder to aim on this game than it is to on oops on Animal Crossing New Horizons. See, like you have to line up this square, but on Animal Crossing you just go kind of in the general direction. Uh, let's chop more trees. 
Because I want to get to the coop over there. chase each other whenever I'm trying to film. Almost every single time I'm trying to film. Alright, repair. Several dilapidated structure structures exist on the farm. Try to repair the coop first so you can raise chickens. I need more stuff. Tools with black to leave stamina. Or not stamina, you'll get some. And that sounds familiar too. Just an open iron bar. Eh. I can probably jump down a little more. Let's see. I'm a little tired. Oh, come on. You're only a little tired, but we'll go ahead and go night night. Then it's time I explain how to grow crops, but first you'll be needing these. Hi, Vincent. These will be your basic tools for field work, so take good care of them. Seeds can't be planted on untilled soil, so you'll want to use a hoe to till it. Once that's done, you can sow seeds on the tilled soil. Then, and this is important, you'll want to water your crops diligently every day. Don't forget about so I get a well. Cool. After a few days of care, your crops will be ready to harvest. You can place crops in that shipping bin over there. They'll be shipped out and you'll be compensated for your hard work. I think it's about time we put those turnip seeds I just gave you to good use. Okay. The items you place in the shipping bin will be exchanged for money the next day. The items will remain in the shipping bin. Yeah, this is just like animal crossing. If you ship those crops out, our local shops will begin to sell the seeds. Be on the lookout for them. Okay. 
Let's see, tomorrow I'll teach you how to make use of any logs and stones you might collect. They look like junk, I know, but they're useful materials. Hmm? Why am I going on my way to teach you all this, you ask? I owe your grandfather a great debt, and I've always wanted to repay him for it. Teaching his granddaughter is one of the ways I can do that. A great debt? What does he owe my grandfather? Why? Did he kill him? In any case, I should get going, but worry not. I'll be back tomorrow. He looks like the kind of person who would kill somebody. Sorry. <laughs> I keep popping my fingers. Can we sidestep? By holding L or R. Oh, let's try. Oh, cool. Fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and just right next to my tent. Is this because eventually I'll have a house here? Okay, fine. Oh, okay. Down here. Right there. That works. That's cute. Alright. I want everything to be straight because I'm OCD like that. So let's get this out of my tool bag. and get some Okay, 
How many do I need? Oops. Oh, all I need left are ten stone. Cool. Let's... We're a little tired, but you can handle getting the rest of the stone. I want a chicken. Oops. Is that enough? Ah, oh, one more. Here's one. I'm just gonna name it Coop because it's a coop. Confirm it. Chicken food rate of coops. By giving them water, it would even increase the size of the land. Some coop food you gather the next day. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Alright, so where's that chicken? Where is that chicken? Oh, cool. It does let me change the camera now. Here, chicky, 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 chicky. Here, chicky, 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 chicky. Is that the chicken? Taint. In order to care for this animal, you have to bring the proper son. Yeah, one of them took the son. Uh, taint. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna name it Chico. So, funny story. My dad. Actually, raised chickens in our backyard, and my brother had one that he named Chico. So I'll do this as a tribute to Chico, the backyard chicken. <laughs> Confirm. If you ring the bell in front of the barn, all the coops, the animals will go out to pasture. If you leave them out, they'll happily eat the grass on the farm and enjoy the fresh air. I'm all about that. Oh, cool. I can pet it. That just made me so happy. I can't wait to get more animals. But I actually think this is a good stopping point for right now. So thank you so much for watching. Please, 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 if you really like this video, like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more content like this. I will probably still continue to do it like either way, but it's always nice to know that it's wanted. And I hope you really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. <laughs>